Today I'm going to be teaching you a picking etude, which was the first thing that I learned to play fast on my guitar. That's coming up next. Before I perform the etude, I want to clarify that this was actually the very first thing that I learned to play fast that required the picking hand and the fretting hand to synchronize and work together. There were actually other licks that I learned to play pretty fast on my guitar before this one, but the speed for those parts relied on the fretting hand and using legato, and really not so much on both hands. Yeah, I like that one. So here's the performance of the etude. This little piece is what I affectionately refer to as the Ingve Etude, of course, uh, referring to Ingve Malmsteen. And I first learned this particular part when I was about 14 years old. I've been playing guitar for about a year or so and was introduced to the Etude by the teacher I was studying with at the time. Now there's a few reasons why this particular Etude allowed me to develop the ability to play fast at that time. First of all, most of this etude is played on the first string, which means that you won't have to worry about navigating any kind of complicated string changes. You pretty much play down and up on one string through the whole thing, with the exception of the final theme. The second reason why this helped me to play fast is that the majority of the etude is built using the same four note theme. This little four note idea is reused across the fretboard to build out the etude. There are different variations that are used, but the theme remains more or less the same throughout the entire thing. This idea is particularly important with fast playing, as long, complicated lines can often be broken down into smaller, repetitive chunks of notes. In this particular etude, it's really just one idea that's used, but in other solos, you may see several or a dozen or more that are used to construct a line. The last reason why this etude allows you to build speed is that it forces you to line up and synchronize the motions of the picking hand and the fretting hand. For every motion or pick stroke that you make, you have a subsequent finger motion that lines up with it, like clockwork. So in order just to play the etude, you have to really lock in the motions of both hands. The synchronization of the two hands will of course transfer to other complicated or technical things that you play down the road. And if your hands don't get used to locking in together like this, you're likely going to struggle trying to play any fast lines cleanly and clearly. I'm now going to provide you with the etude played at two slower tempos. First at about 50% of the performance tempo, and then the second will be at about 75%. I've put together a PDF file of the tablature for this etude, which you can access using a link in the description below. Now in order to access the file, you're going to have to sign up for my email newsletter which will give you updates about new videos and new lessons that I'm putting out, and you'll also have access to all of the electronic files that I provide for my YouTube lessons. Here's the slow version of the A2. and now a medium tempo version of the etude. If you have any thoughts or questions about the etude, you can, as always, post them in the comments below and I will do my best to help you out. As always, like, share, and subscribe for more videos like this. 
Again, thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.